Hey guys, it's Pedro back with another interview covering Valorant Champions 2024. For this occasion, I'm here accompanied once again by Joan P uh, of G2, who are coming off of another victory over PRX, this time in the group stage of said competition to progress to the uh, next round of said group. And so, Jonah, really do appreciate you giving me another chance for another conversation, this time on the international level. And, you know, I'm talking about that first and foremost stepping into the champion stage you know it's a it's a it's a, a tournament that you and obviously your old guard teammates working forward to throughout your career finally doing that what was the feeling like first and foremost um qualifying for champs was probably one of the greatest feelings ever for me personally um mainly because we had we beat 100 thieves to do it and it was our first time qualifying to champs so those two combines are just like, the most insane, insanely happy, happy feeling I got. I know you already got your reps in internationally speaking on Masters, but still, you know, given this is champions, did you feel any any jitters, any nerves at all? Um, honestly, not at all. Um, normally, um, I would say every every match I play Americas or internationally, I would like pre match jitters are a thing. I think everyone gets them, even me, but some reason today this match like it was completely fine so i need to think of i need to remember what i did today in my routine because it worked <laughs> oh for sure you, it's, it's good to to have a sense of what you're doing well and just keep that up keep the routine going and yeah uh taking down prx you know uh, i'm even so despite looking at how the team is your team has been doing and how you guys fared against that team back then in shanghai there's still talk about whether Paper X would be a much better team. Obviously, it didn't. Obviously, you guys were the better squad. Um, yeah. And also, you know, of course, you know, there was plenty of uh, of attention thrown your way about your words, uh, you know, after the VCT Americas finals. But still, um, taking down Paper X and continuing to to disprove those daters, how good does that must feel for you? Um, it feels great. Um... I mean, any any team I play against, it, it just feels good to win. Um, you know, it's all love between Paper X and the fans. Like, it's just all funny banter to stir up some some drama. But at the end of the day, you know, everyone respects each other, and I respect them. So um, they're a great team, and you know, uh, it was definitely a difficult like first match matchup to to start off champs. But you know, it felt pretty easy today, only because we were just on point and everyone was mentally in it. Yeah, for sure. It was. It really did feel like you guys had everything under control from wire to wire, start to finish. But still, you know, issues. If any, what do you think was the biggest issue that you saw from this this encounter with PRX? Our biggest issue or their biggest issue? Whichever, whichever side you, you kind of feel it most arises. Um, I would say. I mean, I think our issue today was, um. Just especially on Lotus, I could tell like when I was dead spectating my teammates, um, there wasn't very much assertiveness. Um, it started to slack because we were losing some rounds, I would say. So it was a lot of like, um, can we, I can do this instead of, you know, let's do this and I'm going to do this, to, and, you know. So that's that's our that's our issue for, for a couple of rounds of this match. And, you know, Josh took a timeout. Um, he pointed it out instantly, you know, everyone realized and just snapped out of it. And then uh, we just cleaned it up and, you know, last round, it was perfect. For sure. And given the fact that I did say um, this is the second match you got with or third match overall, uh, mm -hmm. if in your career against PRX, still focusing on this year, was there any changes at all from looking at PRX from your point of view, you know, from that point to now? Um, I could I can feel it this match for sure. It wasn't um, as much as like random sloppy in your face Valorant. I could tell they're definitely like working on being you know less individual uh, play and, and more team wide play. Um, but I think they still need a little more time to you know dial down those fundamentals because you know it's a, the game's a lot different when you're trying to work together as a team instead of you know trying to you know set up someone to get multiple frags. So. I think with time, um, they're going to be a great team. And, you know, whenever they want, they can go back to being W Gaming. So uh, with time, I think PaperX will be a very scary team. For sure. But it, 
no, no for sure and yeah um to see them go down to um you guys in g2 is another testament to the team's gradual improvement throughout the entire year uh that said you know even though you guys have been keeping up this form there was a a, a little bit of a of, of of thoughts you know from my end as to how you guys were able to move on from end of vct americas to champions given the fact that not even like three weeks since that those finals happened and so that said with what little time i feel you guys had at your hands how what, what was the preparation like you know what what were the kind of things that you guys were tweaking the most amidst you know moving from la to korea on the international stage um i think the biggest thing for us was um every day during practice like after a scrim like um our sports psychologist would you know get us out of the room and you know just do like uh some stretches some team things kind of what fanatic does and i does a lot of like team stretches and you know activities and we're starting to incorporate that so i think just like doing stuff like that really helps uh, our mentals for in game and you know we have two hours of meetings every day one hour with our psychologist and one hour with josh and it's just it's helping us a lot to mentally prepare and um, there's obviously like preparation for like strategies and, and in-game stuff but outside of the game is also equally as important so that's what we're focusing on what do you think has been the biggest takeaways that you had from competing in masters shanghai and what do you think are, are, are the, the 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 kind of things that you took from that that are now being put to use for this go around i think the biggest takeaway from shanghai was um you know low slow starts and and microcoms falling off i think um all that combined is, makes it very hard for us and you know, we did end up coming back and winning all those series, but that's not very realistic, I would say. Um, so just making sure um, everyone, you know, keeps the same level of energy and just like no matter what the score is, we're always giving it our all and making sure our, our uh, comms are up, our energy's high, and just, you know, supporting each other is pretty much it. And that's the biggest takeaway. For sure, and it's definitely, this kind of things are definitely showing so far in this competition, sure. First match, but me knowing you guys by after covering you guys for the, literally the entire year, uh, it, it, it's it, you, you get what I'm saying. You know the, the team's improvement. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. I want to take a little bit of a different direction this time since we're a little bit low on time now. Um, there was a, a a tweet made by Will Minder about the each of the players competing in champions' favorite songs. For your occasion, yours was famous last words from My Chemical Romance. It's, it's, it's got you. Just want. I want to ask you why you 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 feel that's your main track uh, recently. Um, I wouldn't say recently. It's it's been like for the since I was probably like ten. Um, when I was younger, me and my mom uh, um, would you know do long road trips to Canada and New Jersey at the time to visit you know my dad and visit my mom so during those road trips we would just have a, a my chemical romance like cds we had like two albums on it and we would just like listen to it on repeat for 10 hours straight and you know just my me being 10 and with my mom just like singing the whole time it was just it's pretty much a core memory and um and plus the songs are great so that's why so you okay so you listen obviously to the black parade and then what's your what's that other album then other album yeah the other album you, you mentioned uh yeah i forget what it's called all right let me i don't have my phone on me <laughs> I forget what it's called Ma mainly the black parade though i have a few songs from the other album that i like like um i'm not okay is a good one um what's the other one i yeah i gotta catch up but it's been a while and when Willminder sent us those dms like it kind of triggered kind of triggered like my memories and you now i think i think i'm going to put the mcr because uh, i would say if i had to pick an, uh, an all-time favorite album it would be them for it's sure uh not not for sure uh mcr very famous band one that i listen to also because the black parade uh good choice good choice uh, i'll give that a 10 out of 10. uh 
Well, one more question, uh, more so towards the future, back to just focusing on the team. Uh, next opponent, winner of EDG Foot. Um, thoughts on either of those teams? And in addition to that, now that you guys are trying to um, match I and mean, surpass, obviously, your previous mark in Shanghai, uh, what do you think is gonna gonna? What do you think the team must focus on in order to make that happen? Um, that's pretty like you're saying for our team. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, pretty much what I said before. Just you know, keeping um consistent, you know, level-headed, good mental, and supporting our teammates. I think that's the most important thing. Um, whenever we play bad and we have like our team reflection after uh, a loss, we as, every time it's always it has something to do with um, our comms and our energy. So um, if we just keep that up, we're gonna win this whole thing. Oh, for sure, I really do appreciate uh, this time you giving me another interview. You giving me for that. I thank you, Jonah P. Thank you so much for taking the time during this interview. Really do appreciate it. Best of luck for next match and obviously later on in the future. Thank you.